Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a makeup video. I will be showing y'all how I got this easy, easy, beginner-friendly look within 15 minutes. Yes, y'all, very beginner-friendly. So if y'all are interested in seeing how I got this look with no foundation, only concealer, definitely stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are old, welcome. I am back in another video, and today's video is a updated makeup video. Y'all been asking me for updated makeup routine, so I am giving it to y'all. I do got some new products. I will be showing y'all everything, what I got, the color, the shade, and where I got it from. I did just smoke, so please bear with me, okay? Your girl is a little smizzed, but we are about to get right into this video. First thing first, I'm taking this fully, schooly, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just brushing my eyebrows here in place. I need my eyebrows waxed real bad. I'm not even gonna lie about that, but we're gonna work with it. I do use this, it's LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Taupey. Um, it is from Walgreens Beauty Supply Store. They got it at the Beauty Supply Store. Um, they probably would not have it in like Sephora or nothing like that. It's more so like a drugstore product. But this is a concealer. They do have all different shades. Definitely love it. When I first started doing makeup, this was like the first thing that I started using. But I'm just basically taking it and going under my eyebrows, cleaning it up. Where all the extra hair is, as y'all can see, just already cleaning it up. I do not go on top of my eyebrows. Well, I guess I will today just for y'all. And really just outline it. Clean it up as if it was like a clean arch. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm basically just blending it in on top of my eyelids, bringing it down. And the key to makeup, as I tell y'all all the time, blending, 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 blending. It's all about blending. I did get this brush from, I think, Alter. I think it was Alter. But they do have this on Amazon. Look at y'all. All the makeup products that you would ever need is on Amazon. So do not sleep on that. Or if you don't want to just be in a store looking for shit, you know exactly what you want. Amazon. So now that my eyebrows are done, oh, I am taking this. This is Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is what it looks like. I did get this from Sephora. Y'all, this is on the pricey side. It was $23. And you can spray it before your makeup and after your makeup. So I'm about to go ahead and spray it before. Now I'm taking this fan that I got from Sheen and just drying my face. Now I am about to go in with this e.l.f. blush brush. I did order this off Amazon. You can get this from anywhere. I'm going in with my Juvia's palette volume, volume two, volume two. And I'm rubbing in both blushes and just going over my face like that, where I will want my blush to be. Yes, I am putting my blush on first. I will go back in and put it on again. But I feel like the blush give me like that red undertone look that I'm looking for. I'm going in with this concealer. This is in the color, I believe this is medium shade, medium sand, something like that. This is a creaseless um, concealer. So this is Tarty, I believe. And it is small and it's expensive as well. I'm taking it and going under my eyes. Not only that y'all, a little goes a long way. I know I look crazy, y'all. Y'all gotta try to trust the process, okay? We are going to go in with our Beauty Blender. And I'm going to spray it with this setting spray. I put it on my nose as well. I'm going to blend it in, going upward, across. Really just get all in those areas. Y'all, I did get that Tarty Concealer, this. I did get this from Sephora. It's supposed to be creaseless. I don't know, I feel like if you're doing this job, it does last a long time as well. 
I'm going in with the beauty blender and I'm blending in under my eyes, making sure that I get in the corner. Now that I got my concealer on, I am taking this e.l.f. brush and blending in in the corner of my nose and eye and the other end. Just so that it could look more so like a face pulled together and not just like sections of makeup, if that makes sense. True Complexion Palette. I did get this from Walgreens. They got it at Target, probably any drugstore. I am taking the dark shade. I do got it in medium to dark. I am taking the dark concealer shade. Well, contour shade and going in under where I put the blush on my forehead. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. matte concealer and I'm putting a little bit under my eyes just like that. And we're going to go in again and try to keep it just at the top of the eye, under the eye. Now, y'all, I am taking this Laura Mercier and I will be putting it under my eyes. Basically, everywhere where I put the concealer. I'm taking this Lux Pro Powder. I got this from Amazon in the color Chestnut. It right here where I didn't put no makeup. It's more so like a bronzer, kind of, sort of. Now I'm taking this brush from Tefil. I did get this from Amazon. It is a nose concealing brush or contour brush. My contour again is going in right here and dragging it down into my nose. Kind of like making an eyeshadow, but at the same time contouring my nose. Then I will take the Laura Mercier again. Hit the top of my eyes. Everywhere where I put concealer that I don't want it to look oily, if that makes sense. I'm going back in with my blush. I'm going to come back to y'all and do my lips and then fade out my powder. Now I'm going in with this NYX lip liner in the color, at the bottom of this is chestnut, if I'm not mistaken, or like dark, it's mahogany. I don't know y'all, I will put it below. But I'm basically lining the top and the bottom of my lip. I know I look crazy. Let me tell y'all about this lip gloss. This lip gloss is a lip lifter. It's called Lifter Gloss. I got it in the color Ice. When I say 10 out of 10, definitely 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. I am taking this NYX Soft Matte Lip Gloss in the color Cairo. I did order this off Amazon. And I ordered the Lifter Lip Gloss off Amazon as well. But you can't find all this stuff in most likely Sephora or to anywhere that's it i'm taking this brush i do not know where i got this brush from i did get it for a christmas gift when i was like 15 16 somewhere up in there when i first started doing makeup and i'm just going in and just fading away the powder My cluster is going to act up today. I don't know why. I am taking this waterproof black eyeliner. And as y'all can see, it's definitely a total different look. I feel like it pulls the makeup together. Not only that, it's waterproof. So if you do got to sneeze or mess up your eyes, it does not move. too much on that one 
I am about to go in with this cluster and fill it back in. And also spray my face. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I feel like this is pretty legit. Also, y'all, the white powder that I did use is Laura Mercier. This is how it looks. It was like $25 for this little small travel size. Um, it is a translucent. I feel like this works very good for my skin color, other than like banana powder or shit like that. Translucent. Definitely love it. It's not a 10. Laura Mercier. Definitely recommend it. You can even go back in again and set again if you want. I just might do that today because I am about to be outside doing barbecue, so... So y'all, I did go back in. I'm also about to go in with my highlighter. I damn near forgot about it. I did end up breaking the top. I know I'm not the only person that does this, but I did break the top. It is um, Revolution highlighter. I'm not sure which color this was or is, but I've been having it for a little bit now. And it was like $7 from Ulta on the real cheap side. Works pretty good. I figured why not try it. I'm also gonna go in with this and put a little bit right here. Not a lot, just a little bit. So y'all, this is the final look. This is how I do my makeup. This is probably like my everyday going out, doing something, taking pictures, content, whatever type of makeup. More so for like, Special occasions, birthdays, I would do foundation. And when I do foundation, I do use NARS. Y'all, NARS is an expensive ass foundation, but it does its job. It's a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend for foundation wise if you do want to get a foundation. But me personally, I do not do foundation. I do not wear it every day. Keep it real quick, cute with the concealer. Yeah, keep it pushing. But yeah, y'all, this is the look. Everything is drugstore products or from Ulta or Sephora, mostly Amazon. You can get everything from Amazon that I did show. Um, all around, budget-wise, if you are like a beginner and trying to get everything, I would probably say you're going to be spending probably like 100 I'm kind of on the cheap side, but more so got a couple high-end products, so probably like $100. But it's definitely worth it, y'all. I didn't got into doing my own clusters. Definitely worth it as well. So, yes, I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. It will be in the description box below. We are at 54K. We're going to go to 100K. Y'all know the vibes. And until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you.